Hi, I'm Ty with Total Finishing Solutions. Today we're starting up a Wagner Twin Control 3570 that is equipped for acid catalyst for the wood industry. This catalyst pump is made out of 316 stainless. It has a special valving to withstand the very low pH of the acid. This particular customer also has purchased the additional A component pump, so we're able to do multiple bases. In this case, we have one pump for clear, one pump for pigmented coatings. This is our solvent flush pump, and like I said, this is our catalyst pump. The operation of the system is very easy. We turn on the air. The air powers the turbine in the brain, which generates a low voltage signal. So the entire thing runs on air only, no 120 volt power at all. We set the ratio in this case for 3%, uh, which is a 33 to 1 actual ratio. This little box up here is the A pump selector. So I can choose pump A2 or pump A1. In this case, we're going to go ahead and keep it on A2 because we're going to load clear. I press the start button. Make sure my atomizing air is off. And I'm just going to hold. advanced material until I have clear coat present. It can also be a good idea to spray through the tip so that it doesn't cycle too fast and air out as well. We're using the GM 4700 gun by Wagner. Air coat. And you can see the machine counting down when it gets to the program amount, which in this case I think is 200 cc. The light will turn green, solid green, and we'll be ready to start. Okay, we've now finished loading. The light has turned solid green, we're ready to go spray. We would turn our atomizing air on until the tails go away in the fan pattern. With this gun, that's going to be very low, probably only 5 to 10 psi. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just spray some doors. simulate that we wanted to now do the flush and change into our pigmented color. To do that, we simply hit stop and flush, take off the tip and cap, turn off the atomizing air, and then just press and hold until the, the, the flush pump stops. In this case, we had a program for a flush cycle of 600 cc's. So when it hits 600, it automatically stops. I'm, I'm pulling the trigger, nothing's coming out. Okay, so now to switch colors, I'm going to select the other pump, which is A1. Now I'm going to make this pump active, which we've got loaded into black. I'm going to hit load. Turn my atomizer to off. Put my chip and cap back on. And I would just spray until the light turns solid green again over there.
Okay. Back in production mode, ready to go. Turn on my atomizer in there. You can now see I've got black. Then we go spray some black. End of the day, we're ready to flush. Simply hit the stop, flush, put our dipping cap in solvent, pull the trigger until it's gone. Turn off the atomizing air. If it is a weekend, or it's a period of time where I know I'm not going to use the machine for a long period, I'm going to go ahead and hit the flush button one more time. So I'm going to do a double flush. In this instance, it's not going to do a quick cycle of the A and the B like it did in the first flush. It's only going to do uh, a flushed out only flush. It shuts off. I'm going to just simply clean up my gun and tip, put it in storage, and I'm ready for my weekend. So after you've done uh, all your spraying for the day, there's a few features that this also offers that you might want to look at. One of them is material usage reports. So to get into any of the features of the unit, it's password protected. The only active buttons that you can use are spray, stop, and flush. If I try to hit any other button, Without giving it the password, it's just going to display off. So to put the password in, I press and hold the plus and minus button. It says code, I hit enter. I'm now going to numerically enter the code, which I'm not going to show. It now says good that I put the code in, and I'm in what they call level two. Now these buttons over here will work. So if I go to the total sign, which you guys should know the symbol for because that's a symbol for total finishing solutions, it now has these two lights lit up, A and B. It is now telling me I've used 11.3 liters combined of A and B. If I hit this, it says A only is 11 liters. B only is 0.3 liters. A solvent, 5.3 liters. In this case, there is no B solvent, so it's displaying zero. Back again to A and B combined. If you want to clear the material usage and start over for the day, just simply press and hold the set button until it clears. And you can do that for each value or all the way through. To remove the password protection mode and go back, simply turn the air off to the unit. When it powers down, Wait a couple of seconds, turn it back on, and I'm now password protected. Again, I can't come back out of it. So that's how you get into the reporting mode of the system. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time here at Total Finishing Solutions. Thank you.